and Army tradition unfolds at Camp Denali. After 40 years in the saddle, one Alaska National Guard pilot hits the showers, as they say. A little sad, a lot happy, you know. His last flight soars over the majesty of South Central Alaska, but it's a long way from where David Benish began. After graduating from East High, he joined the Alaska National Guard. After training, Benish, like thousands of young men before him, was sent to the jungle. There, he flew missions, recovering shot down attack helicopters and their crews. If you had to go down and pick somebody up, there was, there was bad guys in the area. So a couple times you get shot at down there. But his combat experience began on a more fiery note. My first, my first trip was, was spraying with Agent Orange uh, a, a farmer's field. Um, at night, so that was that was my first mission. Since then, Benish has flown thousands of hours and finished countless missions, but sometimes even training held its own challenges, especially in Alaska. And then you'd get a, an eight-man tent and a Yukon stove, and you'd live out there and be miserable for two, two weeks, you know. And, and the weird thing about that is that uh, after you got the Yukon stove up, the uh, snow would melt out of the inside of, the, uh, of the, the tent and all the mosquitoes would hatch and you'd have nothing but mosquitoes in February and it'd be, you know, 40 below outside. But a lot has changed over the years. We have two engines on this. In the old days, when you lost an engine, that was the only one you had. You were going down whether you wanted to or not. Um, now we've got two. So uh, it carries more weight. It, it goes faster. It can go farther. But no matter the new technology, a helicopter is only as good as its pilot. And this stick jockey, even after more than a few wars, isn't looking back with sadness. And it's a good way to see the world. And, and, uh, and you're not just going over there and, and seeing the tourist sites. You're, you're going over there to experience a bunch of stuff. And I've never been sorry. His is the kind of experience that, like the sounds of a Black Hawk cresting a ridge, is fading from today's military easing into the history books as younger soldiers continue the lessons learned from the unit's senior statesmen. His is the kind of experience that will be missed, but it's a career that has forever changed the man go. miss you guys. and his unit. Sean Dugan, CBS 11 News.